Yellow guys, it is Fluffy says here and welcome back to another video for you guys today. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom songs to Beat Saber if you are using either Steam Beat Saber or the Oculus Beat Saber for the Rift. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get Mod Assistant, which is going to be super helpful in the process of getting mods. Custom songs is something that's already built into Beat Saber for the PC version. But if you want to easily access custom songs, it is much better to have mods. That way you can easily grab the songs in game or using third party systems. That way it's a one click install instead of having to download the hard copy file, dragging it and dropping it into your local Beat Saber file by hand. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, before we get started, let's go over what you need. First, you're going to need Beat Saber. This can either be Beat Saber on Steam or Beat Saber on the Oculus Rift software. As well as with Beat Saber, you're going to need your headset plugged in to your PC and connected and ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into step one. Open up Steam and run Beat Saber. Get Beat Saber running at least once, play a song or two, and then close down Beat Saber. The next step is to head down into the link in the description and get the latest version of Mod Assistant. Download Mod Assistant and drag it to your desktop. Step number three, double click on Mod Assistant to run it and open it. Once it's opened, you will be greeted to this little message that welcomes you to Mod Assistant. Just click I agree. For the next step, you're going to need to open up Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is that little file folder that Windows has that stores all of your files. Head into whatever drive you installed Beat Saber onto. In my case, it's my local C drive. Then head into Program Files 86 and head into Steam. Then once you're in Steam, head into Steam Apps and then into Common and then into Beat Saber. You're then going to navigate your cursor up top where you'll right click right next to Beat Saber and click copy address as text. If you're having difficulties finding your Beat Saber local files, open up Steam, go to Beat Saber, right click on Beat Saber and click properties. Once your little properties tab is opened up, click local files up top and then click browse local file. Once you've done this, navigate back into Mod Assistant where you're already in settings and then at the top there where it says installation folder and click select folder. Once you do that, a little Windows Explorer application tab will open up. You can then go up to the top where the current address for the folder is up and double click. It'll highlight the current address in blue and you can now click Control V to paste in your current Beat Saber installation folder. Once you've done that, click done and you have successfully set up Mod Assistant. For this next step, you're going to need to head to your Mods tab over in Mod Assistant. Once in your Mods tab, make sure that you have these mods installed and enabled in the latest update so that you can get your custom songs. I'm just gonna list them off one by one. So just go through, check them off, make sure you have them. First one is BSIPA. Second one is Songcore. Third is Beat Saver Downloader. And last is Mapping slash Noodle Extensions. The reason why this one is a slash is because neither of these are actually mandatory, but depending on if you're going to do a song with custom walls or using eight lanes, you may need one or the other. After you have all of those checked, head down into the bottom right and click install or update. Once that is finished, click it one more time just to be sure everything is installed and or updated. Once you have completed that, you're good to go ahead and grab your songs. There's actually three different ways you can get songs for Beat Saber. Two of the ways are on the computer and one of them's actually through the headset itself. So to start off, we're gonna go through the two on the computer. Head down into the description and click on the link that takes you to beatsaver.com. That's B-E-A-T-S-A-V-E-R dot C-O-M. Once on this site, you can log in, make an account and get to your songs quicker or you can just head up to the search bar there and search for the song you would like to get. 
Once you have found the song you would like to get, click on it and it will bring you to the song page. From here, you will see a download, a one-click install, a preview, and a copy, exclamation mark, BSR. First off, with download, when you click that download, it'll give you the actual hard copy file for the song that you can go and drag and drop into your plugins folder. I would recommend using the one-click install, which when you click it, will automatically install the song into your mod assistant and allow you to play it on your headset. This doesn't always work and sometimes you'll have to do it manually, but I recommend using the one-click install any chance you get. The third thing, preview, just gives you the sound of the song. It basically just plays the song. And then the copy estimation mark BSR is if you're trying to suggest a song to somebody over Twitch or something. The second website, and better in my opinion, you can use is B Saber. B Saber basically has the same exact layout except for it's much cleaner and the UI is easier to navigate. From here, there's actually a lot more you can do, including the search, which is up in the top right. But once you find a song you like, you can then go down to the bottom and you can bookmark it, copy the Twitch code, download the file, or you can use one click install just like you can on the other site. This site will open up the same exact thing and then you have to go through and do the install process through Mod Assistant. You can also listen to the song as well as view how the map will actually look with the final option. Once you click on this, a little thing will load up and you'll be able to view a video of kind of how it will look in game. Now, if you're wanting to add songs over on your headset, all you have to do is go and open up Beat Saber. Once Beat Saber is open, before you head into solo mode or anything, look to the left and click on custom songs. Then in there, you can search for whatever song you want, click on it, and then click the download button right below the song. The song will then directly download from your headset, and you can then head into solo mode to the bottom right where you can get to your custom songs, and then you can play your brand new custom songs. If you were having trouble with any of the steps in today's video, feel free to leave a comment down below or join my Discord server link also in the description. I will have troubleshooting videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Once they are up and out, I will post them down in the description. So if you're having trouble, you can also check those out. If you guys really did enjoy, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I'm going to be going over a bunch of new mods that you can do to improve your Beat Saber experience, whether or not you're a streamer, someone who wants chat in game, and all sorts of other stuff. Cool, interesting mods I go over on the channel. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Share the video if this helped you and you think it can help out any of your friends. And peace out, everybody. Bye.